What's going on YouTube? It's me again. So in the past few months, a few people have suggested that I do a Q&A for one of my videos and I finally decided to do one. So I tweeted out that I was going to do a Q&A and I got some questions. So yeah, let's, let's get right into it you guys. So this one's from at Serena Monclova. Do you watch Star Wars? If so, what is your favorite episode? By the way, I love you. Love you too. Um, so, no, I don't watch Star Wars. I think I've only seen two episodes of Star Wars, if that. Yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of sci-fi movies. I like things that could actually happen, you know, in real life. So, I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I'll watch them, but yeah, not the biggest fan. Please love me from at Mary Pusa. Is that how you say your name? Uh, I love you. Is that good enough? How about this? I fucking love you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. You're a great person. Thank you for your support. All right, next question is from at Lauren C underscore 16. If you could choose anywhere in the world to live, where would it be? Stay inspirational. Jason, I love you. If I could live anywhere in the world, I think it would probably be somewhere in Europe. I just love the vibes there and everybody in the Norwegian countries are super nice. They're so it's, it's insane how they treat people from out of, out of country. So yeah, I'd probably live somewhere in Northern Europe for sure. Keep on going. Okay, next question's from at Young Amazies. What's your dream job? Honestly, I have no idea right now. I just like making people laugh, so my dream job would probably be something to do with entertainment, whether it be filming or music or anything that will make people smile, make the whole world smile. So my dream job, I don't have an exact dream job. All right, so let's keep on going. So the next question comes from at Kristen Green underscore 16. Hey, that's a rhyme right there, spitting bars. So what's your favorite song at the moment? I would have to say it's Fake Love by Drake. It's been stuck in my head for the past week or two. It's a really good song. It's just so catchy and so fucking good. Yeah, so I'd have to say Fake Love. Okay. Okay, keep on trucking, keep on trucking. So this next one comes from at last underscore Jess underscore 17. Should I say the underscores? I don't know if it matters. What's your favorite movie that no matter how many times you watch it, it never gets old? <laughs> That's so hard. Okay, I'll give you my top three. One of them is definitely Boondock Saints. I love the actors, Sean Patrick Flannery and Norman Reedus. Another one is Man on Fire. That movie is incredible. Yeah, you just gotta watch it. Really, really fucking good. Um, and my third one, this is so hard. I would have to say Sawyer and Adam's Vlogs. <laughs> Turn up! Watch that shit all day. Let's keep on going, guys. So, the next question comes from at Party Poison X, and she says, Why J Bone? Well, Sora came up with that nickname for me when we were in high school. I didn't like it at first, honestly. I absolutely hated it. Yeah, and then I've pretty much kept it from Sawyer since high school. And then Adam started calling me J-Bone, so it's just one of my nicknames. They also call me J-Binner. Yeah, I can't think of any other ones, but yeah, there's a few that they call me. That's why J-Bone, because I hated it and Sawyer just kept saying it until I liked it. All right, so this next tweet is from at Schuster Tanya. The question is, How's Quavo doing? Quavo's doing fine, as you can see, he's just chilling right now. Um, yeah, I don't have to feed him much. He's pretty easy to keep up with, so yeah, he's doing pretty good. This next question comes from at Sour Green Rudy, the troll. What is your last photo you took on your phone? Uh, it's right here. Blam. Yeah, that's my last photo. There you go. Let's keep going, y'all. Let's keep going. You ready, Quavo? You ready for the next? You ready for the next question? All right. So this one comes from at X Slay Queen Annex. Do you have any plans for your next travel? Yeah, I do. I am going to Bailey's from the 4th of April till the 11th of April. And the reason why I'm going is because it's my birthday, April 8th, and I love traveling. I just love going around the world. My buddy from up in Northern California and I have traveled together a couple times before and we're just gonna try and make it a yearly thing to travel so yeah next stop Belize I'm so stoked I'm fucking stoked oh my god <laughs> All right, next question is from at Leah underscore Dallas 94. What do you look for in a girl? By the way, love you. Um, so what do I look for in a girl? She has to be extremely rad. She has to like good music. Um, yeah, I'm not dating a girl that likes Taylor Swift or garbage like that. Definitely her music taste. Um, yeah, that's a hard question. I don't, I don't really know what I look for in a girl. Big ol' fucking titty. <laughs> not really, I'm just kidding. 
It's all about personality. Yep, all about personality. Seriously, though. Yeah, but. <laughs> all right, let's keep on trucking, y'all. Um, this next question is from at Keely May. Do you want children in the future? No, what? Do you think I should spread my genes? Hell no, that would be a disaster. Are you kidding me? This world would go to shit like that. Hell no. No, I'm kidding, yeah, of course. I want about two kids in my life, maybe a couple more. So yeah, definitely want kids. All right, next question is at from Zienna2431. How do you feel to be moving and not living with Adam and Sawyer anymore. Obviously it sucks. It blows in many ways, but at the same time, it seems like the right move for all of us right now. So, I mean, we're gonna try and get back together by the end of summer and try to live with each other. Yeah, who knows what the future holds. So yeah, it blows, but it's a good move. All right, next a question. This one's from at Natasha Slays. How many girlfriends have you had? Honestly, pretty much none. I, I was seeing this one girl in college for my first semester. We weren't officially dating, so pretty much one, I would say. Yeah, I just have this thing where I just scare girls off, you know, which is cool. I mean, I get to focus on myself that way, so fuck them. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Jesus, so many sexual questions, it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna skip most of them though. Okay, this one comes from at Sila Di Dallas Sila? Sila Dallas Sila. What your color? How long did you live with Adam and Sawyer? What my color? Well, I'm pretty tan, as you can see, so my color, brown, light brown, I'd say. Uh, if you're asking what my favorite color is, I don't have one. I don't really play favorites, it's hard for me. And how long did you live with Adam and Sawyer? I lived with them since July, and now it is the end of March. So since July 2016 to April 2017. All right, this next question from 50 Shades of Rico. <laughs> okay, are you still answering questions? No. So this one comes from at last underscore sky 1996. What is the best and the worst thing about living with Adam and Sawyer? Well, the best thing, there are no best things. <laughs> no, I think it's rad. It's like living with um, brothers, you know? They're my homies, they always have been. And yeah, it's all around pretty great. What's the worst thing? Uh, we're all pretty stingy. Yeah, we're stingy motherfuckers. Uh. <laughs> this, this, this is a funny username. This one comes from at titbitch Talia. If you were a girl and you could choose your name, what would it be and why? Damn, yeah, I, I've never thought of that before. Uh, I would say probably something like Shaniqua or something really unique. Moon Unit, maybe? No, I think Dweezil would be pretty good. Yeah, I'll settle with Dweezil. This one's kind of a weird one. I don't think I've ever heard of this kid before. It's from at Monday underscore. How hard was it coming out of the closet? I would say pretty easy because it never happened. There you go. Yeah, it was fucking easy, asshole. This next one is from at It's Rico, though. Ah! <laughs> but, oh my god! Yeah, you got you got your fucking. <laughs> so that's a yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> the answer is yes. You can tase me, dude. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So the next question comes from my good friend Cassandra, aka at Nature Girl. Pineapple on pizza? Uh, absolutely not. I do not like pineapple on my pizza. If I ever took you out and you ordered pineapple on pizza, I'd be fine with it. I would eat it. So yeah. No, personally no, but I'll eat it. Another question comes from at TGreyLily122. What's good, Aisha? Um, so the question is, who do you love more, me or Eric? Well, the answer is pretty obvious. I love Eric more. What? What kind of question is that? No, just kidding, Aisha. Um, I love you guys both equally. I really appreciate all the criticism and all the feedback that you guys give me for my videos. It really helps me out with my future videos. You guys are my homies, my good homies. So this one comes from at Delisha Ariel. 143. Youngest you would date, as in what would be the youngest person you would date? I would say 40 years old. I like cougars. I like them MILFs. No, probably like 20, I think. Yeah, 20, 20 is the real answer. For youngest? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, and Jason ain't even 20 yet. <laughs> My bad. Okay, another one. Another one. All right, so this one comes from at Natasha Slays. Can this be your last question for the video? Um, 